Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ability 411. It's Wednesday and I'm your host Amber Mercy. I am here today to talk to you about some of my embarrassing moments as um, a wheelchair user. I have picked a few. I've been at this for almost 16 years so I have quite quite a list but I've picked a few that um, I'm going to share with you. So number one most embarrassing moment, one of them. I was crowned homecoming queen my sophomore year. I am at the ceremony on Friday night at the football game. We're out on the field. I'm with the, the boy that I had got crowned with too as sophomores. He's on the football team and one of my really good friends. After they have said everybody can, can leave the field, I'm still out there, and I'm, I'm new to the chair, so it's hard to push on grass, and, and um, he walked away. He left me sitting there by myself out on the field. Everyone else was off the field, and here's Amber just sitting there. Hi, everyone. I'm brand new to the wheelchair, and I can't push myself, so I'm just going to sit here and look pretty. Uh, really embarrassing for me, but 10 times embarrassing for him. That's number one. Number two would be, I was at my parents' house. This is after I moved out of my, moved out, and it's at my own house, living in my own house. I was over at my parents' house visiting, had some friends over as well. My parents had a ramp that went straight out onto the driveway off of their deck. And I would always, just for fun, just fly down the ramp onto the, the flat cement and just, I don't know, it's just something fun to do. Well, Amber forgot that she had had her foot rest adjusted. So here I go, flying down the ramp. It's summer, nice day. Friend sitting on the deck. Foot rest hits at the bottom. I go catapulting out of my wheelchair. Didn't get hurt. Guess what my friends say? Will you do that again so we can videotape it and put it on jackass? I'm like, you guys are a bunch of jackasses. But we laughed and it was, it was, uh, it was fun. And it was, we, we, we just laughed it off and they got me back in my chair. And for the record, no, I didn't do it again for jackass. Number three. I was going to start taking classes at a college about 15 minutes from my house. This is a very prestigious Christian college. My mom went with me, and as we're running all through campus, and she's pushing me, you know, to the financial aid building and getting classes set up and whatnot, what you have to do, you know, getting, getting ready to go to college. Well, she's running full speed with me as we had another another meeting to get to for financial aid. So we're we're running full speed across campus and we get to a road. This road's a one way. We think we're going to beat traffic. So my mom, you know, pushing as fast as she can, pushes me right into a rut or something on the sidewalk which was right the curb onto the road. Guess what happens? Amber goes catapulting out of her wheelchair again. I had a few choice words. I'm screaming and swearing on a Christian college campus. Um, very prestigious. Mom's yelling at me. Some really cute boy comes walking by. Oh my gosh, do you ladies need some help? My mother tells them no because she's embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. She tells this, this kid, no, we don't need help. I'm like, yes, we need help. I'm laying in the middle of the street. Cars are coming. Needless to say, the young man helped us. Embarrassing, embarrassing, embarrassing moment number three. Number four, and this is my last embarrassing moment that I'm going to share for today anyways, is a pretty good one. I... Uh, a couple years ago, had a rental van that I couldn't drive. I was in the process of getting a new van and getting my hand controls. 
So I wanted to go to my parents' house. It was summer day. It was really, really nice day out. But I knew there was no way I could push myself there in my manual chair as they live, you know, a couple miles from me. Have to go over an overpass and it probably wouldn't be safe in my manual chair, let alone in any wheelchair. But I decided, oh my gosh, I've got that power chair out in the garage that I used to use. I'm just going to hop in that little hot dog and wheel it over to my parents' house. So I get in it. I get going down the road. A neighbor says to me, what you doing, Amber? And I said, oh, just going to my parents' house. He's a friend of the family, knows us. And he says, going to your parents' house? Hey. I said, yeah. And uh, you're going in that? And I said, yeah, I'm just going to take this. You know, it's a beautiful day. Just take the power chair. So I'm going along, you know, get to the overpass, which is got a couple on ramps, but I live in a town with maybe 1,500 people, which is another big problem. Everybody knows me. So I'm going over the overpass in my power chair, thinking I'm really cool. And I come into some gravel and some like some light sand. And the chair doesn't want to go through it. And I'm like, oh crap, I'm stuck on the overpass. Everybody in this town knows me. It's summer. Thank God for cell phones. So I sat there for a minute, you know, with a joystick, trying to get out of the get out of the sand and the loose gravel. It wasn't working. While the whole time I have my cell phone up to my ear pretending like, oh, I had just stopped to make a phone call. Well, it didn't work. I couldn't get out of the gravel. I'm stuck on the overpass. People are honking. People see me. Nobody stops and asks me if I need help, though, which I thought was a little random. Because normally when someone sees someone having problems in a wheelchair, they automatically think they're, like, not breathing or something. So I remembered the neighbor that had seen me, and I called him. And I said, oh my gosh, Dave, I'm stuck on the overpass in this loose gravel. And he came and helped me. And I continued on my way and made it to my parents' house. Holy cow, how embarrassing. Everyone in the town seeing me, stuck on the overpass. And it was just one of those things that I just had to laugh at and just had to say, you know what, Amber? You're crazy and you're fearless and the force be with you. So for any of you out there that have some embarrassing moments, party fouls, anything like that, laugh it off. It happens. It happens to us. It's going to happen to you. I hope you enjoyed a few of my embarrassing moments and I'm sure you will hear some more as the Ability 411 uh, keeps going on with different topics. And... um, I hope you all have a great Wednesday, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.